a little later in the day. Um, over there at 92 and 91, um, the last of the drywalls going up. Otherwise, all eight units, uh, drywalls hung. This, Eric sent me an army. Let's take a look in here. Then I'll talk about this dumpster here in a second. Um, just take a look. We're in 95. So we're waiting for the, the finishers, the drywall finishers. This whole evolution is about six days from first, hang the first dry, piece of drywall all the way through uh, taping and mudding. And then the final day is the um, texture. A big old $50,000 trailer motor thing comes and they put all the texture on everywhere. So uh, we got the correct panels for the slider. Uh, the panels that came were wrong, but we got the frame in, and that is the major item that is inspected. That gives us permission to go ahead and hang the sheetrock. So all these look the same. Um, I was walking through them a little earlier. I cannot find a covered outlet or an outlet covered by drywall yet. There might be one or two. There might be one or two, but the goal is always zero. And uh, and I tell all the hangers, I put, point out my little spray paint that I got all over the place. And uh, there's an old sliding glass door frame. So let's talk dumpsters, which is a fun topic in a good time. Uh, almost all of that drywall mud is going to be used uh, for just one unit, by the way. Each of these is five gallons. So you get an idea of how much drywall mud is applied um gotta call these hangers back because uh, i had tom with republic services bring extra dumpsters yesterday i had no idea eric was going to drop in the, a marine battalion to hang all these the drywall and all these units uh, so tom brought the extra dumpster here but we cannot have tom come pick this up and take it to the dump because see how it hangs over the side of that florida department of transportation is not a big fan of that. This ain't so bad, but they gotta come back and cut it and get it inside the confines of the box. Um, and as usual, you know, guys go to the dumpster closest to them. So I bet there's hardly nothing in this guy. There's a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. And that one's, you know, this one over here looks like Mount Vesuvius blew up. And see, this side ain't terribly bad, but this side, the overhang, is just no way. That ain't going to happen. That ain't going down the highway. Let's take a look at these guys. These boys hanging in here. Hey, hey! Buenos dias! All right, man. Good to see you guys. Almost finished, huh? All right. All right. Good, good stuff, good stuff. Hey man, how are you? What is there? Hey, Dias. Good group of guys. Having fun. Hey, hey, one of this. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, hey. All right, looking good in here. Hey, 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 man. How are you? Good to see you, man. Yeah. A little cold this morning. A little bit, right? All right? Always good to see the the good cheer, and they got their uh, T squares here. So when they measure the big pieces, the big pieces when they're cutting around stuff, that's what they use. And then they use those Dremel tools, and that's what they use to cut all the holes of the outlets, the AC lights, fan light combos, all of that, and cutting around windows. Looks like they're going to be done here. Not too long. Not too. I, I, they'll be gone by lunch by the time I bring the chicken from Publix back for them. Yep, we are in progress here. I got to get a whole bunch of this stuff to the dump or the dumpster. And uh, let's see. We're moving along. We are moving along. When it gets low like this, they tack up a few nails first and they always come through and they drive some screws. So they got all this power here. They're rocking and rolling. 